Hello, reception. Phonics with Miss Leach once more. Another brand new digraph today. Two letters that join together to make one new sound. Today it is R. Ah. This is R. Ah. Start the car. Now, we do it an old fashioned way when we R ah, start the car. We put the key in and we turn it. So we say R. Ah, start the car. We don't tend to do a steering wheel because that's v for driving a van. So we have R, start the car. When we see this side, we say R, start the car. And when we see the digraph, the grapheme, the way it's written, we say R. So you have to open your mouth quite wide as if you're saying R and make quite a long ah sound. Don't be mistaken for the letter R, the letter's name. An A and an R, when they join together with a stretchy sound button, they produce the sound ah. Here we have a yellow word. Can you spot where the R digraph is hiding. It's not at the beginning. It's not at the end today. It's in the middle. Lots of these digraphs like to hide in the middle of words. But this digraph can go at the beginning. It can be in the middle or it can go at the end of words. It's quite clever. Here we go. See if you can blend it at home first with your grown up. Did you get it? P -ark park. Have another go. Well done, reception. So today we are going to learn all about R. I'm going to share my screen with you now. Oh. Or maybe not reception because Miss Leach hasn't opened the right. One yet, so let's see if I can find it. Here we go reception. So we have. R. Start the car. When an A and an R join together in a word, they make the sound R. Here we are. Pretend to turn the key and start your car saying R, start the car. Here we have three pictures and three words all containing the R digraph. What do you think they are? Tell your grown up at home. What do you think the words might be underneath the pictures? Maybe have a go at blending those words yourself with the R ah sound. You could pause the video and try it yourself first. So Miss Leach will have a go, but see if you can guess which word I am segmenting. Are you ready? P arc. P arc. Did you spot it? Try blending it with me. P arc. Park. Don't forget to use your pointing finger to push the sound buttons. How about this one? Sh arc. Which picture do you think I have just blended? Shark. Did you get it? Let's try it together. Let's look at the shark picture and push the sound buttons for the word shark. Shark. How about the last one? K art. Art, cart. 
Well done. If you're finding that tricky, maybe pause the video and try that one again with your grown up. Here we have three more pictures and the words that we would write to spell these all have an R digraph. So at home, you could challenge yourself to robot and write the words to match these pictures. We have a st R star. Oh, where can you hear the R digraph in star? Hmm, st R star. We've got a k R car. And we have an R M mm, arm. Oh, you see the R digraph isn't always in the middle of words. Sometimes it's at the beginning and sometimes it's at the end. And you have to really use your listening ears when you are segmenting to hear all of those sounds carefully. So try and challenge yourself now and robot the words star, car, arm, and maybe to challenge yourself to write the words as well. You can pause the video if you need to. Here we have our usual task of drawing the sound buttons underneath the words in order to blend them carefully and accurately. Don't forget to spot that digraph, R. But there may be other digraphs in the words or they might be single sound buttons. So don't let the words trick you. Have your detective heads on. Make sure you can spot all the digraphs you think you can see. Grown ups, if you need to print this slide from the PowerPoint or you could copy the words out for your child to draw the sound buttons on. For our final activity, there's a choice of two. If you want to do both of them, that's fine. If you want to choose one of them, then that's fine too. So you have a, an R piggy bank where you have an, a piggy bank baseboard and then you've got some coins, some R coins with pictures on. Now, some of those pictures do not have the digraph R. So you will need to sort them out. See if you can, this will be really good for you to use your listening ears to hear whether there is an R sound in the word when it's spoken. Grown ups, really encourage your child to say the word out loud. If children do not say the word, they cannot actually hear the digraph. They need to be able to say it out loud and to listen to those sounds. So a child won't know if there is an R digraph in ring unless they actually verbally say the word ring out loud or maybe the word farmer, farmer. They won't know what sounds are in the word farmer unless they say it out loud. So you really need to encourage your child to speak carefully and out loud when they're doing the piggy bank. Also, when they're trying to spell, that's why we encourage the children to use their robot arms to actually articulate the sounds out loud. So we've included an R spelling activity as well. So again, your child will need to robot the word and segment it out loud in order to be able to spell and find all the pictures with an R sound. Don't forget to try and do your writing as small and neatly as possible because the boxes are not very big for spelling on this activity. Or you could write the words separately on a piece of paper. So you've got two choices of two activities there for helping you to learn about the R digraph. I wonder which one you will choose. I'm going to come back now. So this has been our phonics for the week. This week we have learnt three sounds, but we've learnt that one of our digraphs 
can make two different sounds. So we've learnt U, U, and today we've learnt R. Thanks for watching, reception. See you soon. Bye.